Blake here with SLF Motion. Today, we will be installing an Evo system for Shimano RX slash GRX rear derailleur. Tools required for this installation are a Phillips screwdriver for the removal of the stock cage stop screw, a two millimeter hex for the SLF Motion stop screw and the clutch cover bolts on the derailleur, as well as a four millimeter hex for removal and installation of each cage. First step, remove the chain and the rear wheel. Next step, shift your derailleur into its open position. Turn the clutch derailleur off. This will just help in installation down the road. Next, we're gonna remove the stop screw. Make sure with one hand you keep a hold of the cage as there is tension internally and you will see it wants to rotate up and over. Once the tension is released, we're ready to move on. Now we will remove the clutch cover by removing these three screws using your two millimeter hex. As the clutch cover comes off, note that there is a rubber gasket inside. Keep a hold of this gasket as we will use it for reinstallation of the Evo system. Next step, take your four millimeter hex and remove stock cage by unscrewing it. With the stock cage removed, now we are ready to prep your Evo system for installation. We will be removing and reusing the stock spring and stock plastic dust cover. Spring is sometimes difficult to get off, so just work with it and it'll get there. We will reuse that. Also, on the stock cage, there is a silver washer. Remove that as that is reused as well. Put the silver washer on your Evo system. Without that, the system will not work. With that installed, you are now ready to reinstall the spring and the dust cover. For this model, we offer three spring tension settings low, middle, and high. Low is gonna provide you the least friction, but high is gonna provide you the best shifting. With your Evo system prepped, we are now ready to install it in the derailleur. Aligning the tabs in the rear, and keeping pressure on the clutch mechanisms on the front side, use your M4 hex, to install the cage. With the cage now installed into the derailleur, we are now ready to put the clutch cover back on. The rubber gasket that we saved before has a unique shape to it. Just figure out which way it goes, put that on the derailleur and into its groove. Now you will take your two millimeter hex and reinstall the cover. Now we will remove the stop screw. Please pay close attention to this next step as it is critical. If not done correctly, your Evo system will not perform as designed. You must rotate the cage, creating tension on the spring inside the derailleur, upwards and backwards. Rotate it until you can reinstall that stop screw. With the rear wheel on, we are now ready to reinstall the chain. If you're coming from a previously installed oversized system, then you already know the chain length, you should be good to go. If this is your first oversized install, and you're starting with a new uncut chain, I wish I could tell you how many links you're gonna to need to cut out. Unfortunately, I can't. With variables like cassette sizes, front chain ring sizes, and frame sizes, there's just no perfect answer for every situation. If you're uncomfortable cutting your chain to the correct length, just take it to your local bike shop and they'll get you set up. We got just a few steps to get this Evo system complete. First, let's turn the clutch back on. Now you're going to need to readjust and set your B screw, 
your high limit screw and your low limit screw. Maybe the most critical part of this is you are going to have to reset your trim. Just want to say thanks to Eric Summer for loaning us his beautiful Santa Cruz Stigmata gravel bike. Uh, Eric was gracious enough to give us a gravel bike in gravel bike condition, so it looks like I'm going to have to do some cleaning. For my favorite part of every installation, <laughs>